making my bed. Even though I want to stay in bed all day. Let's get the day started, girls, boys, non-binary, anybody. Let's go make some breakfast and coffee. Morning hug, come on, bring it in. Oh, I got Canadian bacon, some eggs, yep. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing crema, crema. That's how it makes me feel in my barista era. Honestly, I never left it. Being some sort of beverage creator, maker, was actually my very first job when I was 15. Water first, always. It probably shouldn't be gulping ice water, but that's what we're having this morning. Mm. Yep. Just a simple egg, some Canadian bacon, and avocado with soy sauce. Bon appetit! Mm. You're probably wondering, gee Tammy, this doesn't look like Paris. Well, it's not. <laughs> I stupidly left my other memory card that holds all of my Paris vlog footage in the last Airbnb in France. I had a little mini panic attack there, but a part of me was like, maybe this is the universe telling you that your Paris trip was just for you to relish in. But I had to try to get it back. So I reached out to the Airbnb host. They're so kind enough to ship it back to me. So our trip to Paris will go up next week. But spring is here. As you can tell, outside my window is now green instead of gray. It's springing. It has sprung. The season has sprung. I'm sprung. Got me doing things I never do if you ain't been, I'm telling you. But anyway, I thought that this is actually great because my loft needs a little spring update And I'm gonna start with one of the best parts one of my favorite parts of the apartment and that is the bed I'm gonna finish this and then we'll get to the apartment stuff Yes mm. Every time I eat in the morning, I have to give myself a little gargle again just to keep myself feeling fresh throughout the day But I think I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup and maybe change out of my sleeping gear except i don't sleep with pants on i sleep mostly half naked or naked um it feels very spiritual welcome back to our favorite little corner of the room of the space of the studio of this huge box that i call my home but as you can see i've switched over to this softer off-white eggshell color to go more with like a cloud vibe and that brings me to the sponsor of today's video which is brooklinen if you haven't heard of brooklinen where have you been I'm just kidding. They are a luxury sheets company that's focused on bringing beautiful home essentials like these sheets I have for a fair price. What I have here is the Lux Hardcore sheet set. And after the first night of me testing them out, well, first off, I couldn't stop squirming around because the sheets felt so good. Every time I get new sheets, I like to wash them first. And so they were all fluffed up, just warm and cozy, yet cooling. It just felt so good against my skin. You guys know that little wiggle that we do when we're trying to cozy ourselves up like this? <laughs> but yeah, I just rolled around for like 10 minutes doing that before knocking out. All I can say is I had an amazing sleep. 10 out of 10. I found it really interesting when I heard the fact that we spend a third of our lives sleeping. So now that I know that, like sheets that feel incredible are 
a non-negotiable and ones that are gonna last me a long time with the warmer weather around the corner these sheets feel cooling to the touch which is a key component to good sleep huberman lab podcast if you know you know another key thing that i look for in sheets is that it has this tag right here hold on so this tag right here means that these sheets have been tested for any harmful substances and Brooklinen meets the safety requirements in the materials that they use to create these marshmallow sheets. You know, I used to never mind these little tags, cut them right off, but I never knew that there could be carcinogenic materials used in something that we rejuvenate ourselves in every night because, you know, I'd be drooling, having my mouth open when I'm like sleeping, so I'm gonna make sure it's, it's all good. So I decided to get the sheet bundle, which saves you 25% when you bundle up the core sheet, extra pillow, cases and duvet cover. Their website makes it so easy for you to customize and I really like the selection of colors. It's not too overwhelming and they have both solid colors and some designs. Right now Brooklinen is having their Memorial Day sale. All Brooklinen items are 20% off through May 31st though. Keep that in mind. If you've been curious about trying out some Brooklinen sheets, now's the time. I'll have all the goodies linked down below. Thank you so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring this portion of the video. And also thank you for some really good sleep. I'm very much so looking forward to my bedtime today. It's so tempting to not just curl up in bed, but it's teaching me discipline. Yes, it is. This new angelic bedding set has helped me see a greater vision for my space. And my friends, I need a rug. The rug from the previous video that you saw where I was like, please don't get it, it's gone. It is now in a home that will love it way more than I will. I feel like a rug in this area would really help make the place feel more inviting. This bed set makes me want a cream rug to really marry the two spaces because they do look a little separate right now. You can see here, it's very dark on this end and it's very light over here. And I moved my toga style couch, toga style, not actual toga couch, to this side. We need a little light coming into this side. And uh, I need a rug. And so what did I do? I took my ass to Ikea yesterday. The Swedish meatballs, oh my gosh. Kia sells phone stand and ring lights now. Gen Z's taking over. And this is like in the kids' room. <laughs> This one is. Wait, I love that it looks like a portal. Alright, I had to take a little food break because you know if you come back here, you have to get the Swedish meatballs. Da -da -da -da. Oh my gosh, this food is so nostalgic to me. It so that it can last me throughout the seasons as I continue to flip my loft upside down every couple of months. So I don't think I'm ready to invest in something so big of a statement yet. I do have a really, really fun, cool, amazing rug coming in in like a week or two from my friend Anna Lee, and I'm so excited to show you guys. It's gonna really pull the place together. So that'll be my statement rug. I was looking at this one. This? Tipid? Tipidus? Tipidus rug? I'm just kidding. But it's only $14.99 and it's so much better than the one I bought on Amazon. Remember I showed you guys in the other video? This is pretty nice. Like it's thin, but like even though it's thin, you can just add on a rug pad underneath. And it'd be pretty sturdy, like underneath a dining table or something. But I'm gonna keep looking. <laughs> This 
one was pretty cute too and it's on sale it has this avocado green detailing also another thin rug Ooh, how about a rug that has some texture play reminds me of a rodeo i don't know if that's the vibe i'm going for this season Ooh, they have the varm licks collab rug which is so cool i just don't fuck with the shape i know they're trying to be different and like you know it's an art piece but i feel like it would make my place look too messy i do love the colors though beautiful yellow and orange i'm gonna go with this one maybe i saw this one online but was unsure of the colors after i read the reviews but i think it might go with my new sheets These air purifiers designed by David Wall and they're kind of crazy. They look like the Bang & Olufsen speakers. Low-key, that's why I want it. But I was standing in front of it, breathing. <sighs> it actually feels so good. <laughs> and it's on sale. Should I get it? This is not on my list. Let's place down this rug. Can't wait to see what it looks like in the space. I got these felt pads for underneath the couch because when the movers brought in this couch, it scratched on the floor a little bit, but it's okay. that big ass ladder in the back. I just picked up that ladder from my building and we're gonna do some fun stuff, but I have yet to lay out my rug, so let's do that right now. and I've just been fiddling around with everything, seeing how things would look. I think we're getting somewhere. I switched my TV around. I'm absolutely obsessed with how the rug looks with the bed. It looks so good. I think it's time to finally put up the Noguchi lamp over my dining table. I'm like procrastinating because ugh, I know it's gonna take a lot of work. It's been a full day, I'm getting kind of hungry. ladder is freaking ginormous. I'm 5'3 for reference. It's time to hang it up. It's just been sitting in the back and originally I wanted to create this Noguchi installation with all of the round ceiling lamps that I have. However, I really just love a Noguchi lamp on top of a dining table. So I'm gonna try this out and then see what I can create with the rest of the round lamps that I have. But for now, the 75A is going on top of the dining table area. I'm a little nervous, but we can do this. You do anything. It looks like the moon. So good. Oh my gosh, you can leave it like that. taking the entire day just like rearranging everything and trying to see what feels good but i finally got the fucking lamp up and we are back in business yes i think a part of me wants to lower it a little 
But I have the ladder for like two more days So I think I'm done climbing up on ladders for the day I'm just gonna go shower and cook some dinner And then continue the adventures tomorrow I'm planning to put some floating shelves in the back of this With some ceramics and pottery Fun knickknacks, things like that Some decor And that's it for me today I'll see you guys in the next video Bye